Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ringside. It's episode two of the Jersey Police. This is Officer Rab. That is Potty Potty. What is up? Yo, what's going good? Yo, we about to have the first suspect walk the line. Coming down the Green Mile, we got... Lawrence. Bring him in, Potty. Lawrence Holmes. The Florence Firebirds. The home jerseys. Now, I love squibs. Love him to death. And he finally got his jerseys right, in my opinion. The home and away, in my opinion. Let's start with the home. Perfect use of black. Absolutely love them. Got the got the the nice the nice black jersey, the nice black socks, the black pants. The striping looks good. Uh, can't really tell if that's a chrome helmet or not, but you know what? I don't even care. Those jerseys walking free. Get out of here. Get out of here. They walk in the line. And I will say the thing I really like about these jerseys in particular are that the logo utilizes black, so it's just black on black, and it creates like a gradient of like a secondary color scheme uh, of the red, which goes into showing the logo. I really respect that. One thing I will say, little ass logo on the, you know, the left side of that shorts. I can't tell what that is. I don't know if I can support it if I don't, un you know, if I'm not informed of what it is. So, you know, su suspect to change. We'll have to see how it goes. But let's uh, move along to their aways. And finally. They got some good away jerseys. Squibs has taken everything that I like about jerseys and everything that I dislike about jerseys. He has listened. He has asked questions. These jerseys are beautiful. Love them. Uh, crisp white home or white away jerseys. The white socks that match. Uh, the only thing is like the striping on the socks. You've got that little yellow line on the on the socks. You don't really have the yellow on the uh, on the sleeves. Uh, or on the bottom of the jersey, but even still, these jerseys, mwah, free to go. Get out of here, you Italian nut job. Let them be, let them be. I uh, agree with these. So let's move along to the alternates. All right. So with these guys, uh, definitely completely different with the color scheme. Uh, I do know what he's going for, too, because uh, he wanted uh, to kind of give the uh, – these are almost the Italian – like the actual Italian hockey jerseys, uh, you know, Florence, uh, the Firebirds, the, the Italian blue, the Florence Firebird red. Um, let's be honest, we're sending them to court. They could face jail time. They could not face jail time. But you know what? I'm going to give this a pass because it's completely unlike any other jersey uh, that that I've seen with Florence, and I really like them. I'm also I'm also a St. Louis Cardinals fan, and they remind me of that. But honestly, Squibs, I got my eye on you, but these bad boys, they're 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 good to go. They can they can go ahead and walk, but you watch yourself, young man. Are you not a patriot, Officer Rab? Look at these bootleg. Marvel superhero, Soviet Russia, you know, look at these jerseys over here, what they got coming with that, you know, almost, iron. Almost gives me like a Hydra, like a, like, you know. <laughs> Golden Eagle in the middle. <laughs> Only thing I know about Golden Eagle was, you know, Ghostface Killer, the Wu-Tang Clan had this <laughs> wrist piece and it was a Golden Eagle. And uh, he unfortunately he had to melt it down and sell it, but it, that was a... Uh, so I guess if I remembered that from this jersey, I guess they get a pass. So All let's, right. let's move along. Wu-Tang Clan forever, boy. Yeah, there we go. All right, move along to Copenhagen Holmes. All right. Very, very navy blue. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely blue. I don't know about the gloves. Uh, again, traditionalist here, they could go black, but I feel like that might not work. Um Chrome helmet. You got the you got the you got the navy blue pants. The logo on both sides of the pants is uh, is interesting. I don't know if we've seen that too many times in goals. Um, even with the the solid blue colors, pretty much throughout, you got the striping, uh, the socks match the jerseys. You know what? These are some free Vikings. Free Vikings, yeah, yo, respect to the jersey. I know it took probably a lot of time to come to that, but I, I like the color scheme. 
and uh, I think the just has a pull. The only thing why they got to have two logos on the pants. Everyone else uses one logo, or they like alternate the logos. They got four hatchets. You really need four hatchets, you know, to wage wage war. Let's see uh, on the away campaign coming up. Away jerseys very similar. I mean, I the complete inverse of the home jerseys you've got instead of uh you know instead of the navy blue jersey and the navy blue socks now you got the white jersey with the white socks instead of the gray striping you got the navy blue the yellow stays the same uh only issue that i have with this jersey and i'm pretty sure that uh, that mr uh, mr rose mr chewy canadian knows this uh the chrome navy blue helmet i'm not a huge fan of but i cannot complain about this jersey it pops on the ice the little bit of blue on the shoulders the blue pants is just enough to get that free pass free pass but are they getting a pass down from bauer why they got to highlight that name so much with the blue font what if they put that in yellow don't you think that might be a little uh you know just a, a little bit more palpable than just making the brand name so visible, but all power to them, all Bauer. So let's move along to the alternates. Very yellow, uh, very yellow. I don't even, I don't even think that the National Predators use this much yellow in their jerseys. Uh, I would, I wouldn't mind seeing some navy blue gloves. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing the navy blue pants. Keep the navy blue pants consistent with the home away and alternate. That would be. Uh, kind of a cool, uh, a cool ad. Uh, the chrome helmet, you know, we got to send them to court, but they're gonna walk free. And and I might I might have some people uh, question that decision, uh, but it this is this is a jersey that I have thought long about uh, whether or not to to send them to jail or not. But I got to be honest, uh, it's. It's it's gonna pop on the ice as well. I think uh, you know, think think like the NFL uh, uh, color rush jerseys. I could definitely see a jersey like this against an all you know a solid uh, a solid color from another team. I, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Talk about setting them. You know, other things that are free or packets of mustard, but alongside you know dollar hot dog stands. Uh, that's what this color reminds me of. I think of too much mustard, but in the world of Biggie Smalls, he said, you know, when I get flustered, I like to spread the bread like mustard. So I think that mustard is in, and I think that these are a very yellow win. So moving along to Rome. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's, it's, it's a dark red uh it's it's not it, it's almost like a sandy uh tan color uh the gloves are are a beautiful black with that little bit of red in it uh the pants are a solid black you got that little line there um you know the the, the socks look great the whole the whole jersey matches uh absolutely love their home jerseys 100 percent free pass these boys are walking out of here Mm -hmm. And they're walking out with their right foot first. If you look at the secondary logo located on the right side of the shorts, which is interesting because most teams usually put it on the left or if you're Copenhagen and, you know, however you want to. You're special if you're Copenhagen. Yeah, you can have on both sides. But uh, let's not run away from the next jersey, the Roma Ways. Same, same as the home jerseys. It's, uh, you know, all of the striping is completely identical, um, which, you know, to some might, might rub them the wrong way. You got, you know, the, 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 the striping on the, on the sleeves, uh, the socks are the same, but change that red for that white. These are some crisp away jerseys. Absolutely love them. They are walking free. Let me just check one thing. You know, these jerseys are white, and so is the Roman Gladiator. Why do you think that they chose that color to represent all gladiators? Could it not be a more uh, global tone? Um, that's just all I'm thinking about in the greater scheme. No, it's not a scheme. This is life, and we need to all be represented. Let's move along to the alternates. 
Now, these ones, I, I, I was fully prepared to send them to jail just, be, just because, uh, you know, they, they didn't really pop to me. Um, but I do know that these jerseys are, are, are paying homage to uh, the former Glasgow Black Watch, which is the team that Rome has become, uh, that, that Rome took. Um, so they're kind of paying homage to that. I do like the all black. You've got that tan line. You know, I was going to send them to court, send them to jail. But now that I'm thinking about it, I, everything there, uh, it, it's a it's a great alternate jersey. It all works. Uh, the home, the away, the alternate Rome, the Rome gladiators. I got nothing on you. Get out of here. Free to go. These are hot. You know, black and gold with swords crossing. It reminds me of like some Age of Empires or like Rise of Nations type, uh, you know, RTS and they, uh, I, and the other thing is they keep true to, to this being in an alternate jersey because they switch the mm -hmm. location of that secondary, uh, you know, thing from the right to the leg. So shout out there. All right, coming in hot. We've got it fresh off the press from Jacksonville, the homes. I mean, look, I, my unbiased opinion, uh, love them. And, and, and obviously, this is my team. You know, I designed these jerseys. Um, but it wasn't easy to design these jerseys. Uh, if you ask anybody from the original Jacksonville Vipers, what was it, season three, season four? Um, you know, I probably went through about six or seven different team name and jersey designs, and we finally decided on this one. Um, you know, kind of a, a Jacksonville Jaguars style jersey. We've got that teal, we've got that gold. Um, I love them. I love I love wearing the jersey. I love representing Jacksonville with this. Uh, Hundred percent free to go, and that's again unbiased opinion. Well, I will say through time you improve, and it looks like this jersey has a, appreciated like a number of different good components of design from the original dark, you know. Uh, dark background and then the greens that came in that's that's so flush that's really nice and then i love like how you have representation of the white pop on the gloves to the captain symbol to the numbers on the let on the shoulder lettering and then around the logo um great design uh let's see what you got for your aways now if if this was the uh, Jacksonville aways from, I think, last season or a couple seasons ago, I probably, uh, and this is, again, unbiased opinion, I probably would have taken them to court, maybe even thrown them in jail because I broke my own rule uh, in the home and away jersey being the complete inverse of uh, each other. Uh, but I finally decided to change them this year. Uh, you know, going with the same, same jersey style, same sock style, um, you know, just, just flipping the black for the white, for the home, for the away, everything else remained the same. Uh, again, free to go. I'm feeling generous tonight, Potty. Well, you know, you are the judge, ju judge, jury, and executioner of jerseys within the realm of goals. So, you know, I'll be true to you. I'm just the bailiff in the court, you know, the guy, the, you know, the assistant, that's providing, I don't know if that's a bailiff, I might have that incorrect, but it might be the, you know, the peace officer there that's there to support you. And I will say that these are great supporting jerseys. Uh, love the white color scheme. Uh, you made a great point in the earlier episode of it's like, you as an away team should wear a white jersey because then the home team can wear whatever color they want. And it's like a sign of respect. I think that's really cool. So you pay homage to that. And I like the, the helmet going in combination with those gloves. So I think it's a uh, traditional and uh, it works well. So let's see. You're, about you're, your you're almost you're almost like the bailiff on like Judge Judy, where you're, you're going to have like a snappy remark every so often. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see uh, where the alternates uh, alternate. You know, I, I, I could be wrong, but uh, these these might be might be the best alternate jerseys and goals. Uh, I know that there are quite a few who would who would agree with me on that. Um, you know, uh, going from the black jersey on the home side, the white jersey on the away, the alternate should be a different color than the home and away. Uh, so going with that teal jersey, 
you know, got the socks, uh, the, the, the top of the socks are black. So it kind of continues the pant line almost. Uh, I wanted to, to pay homage to the season two uh, Ottawa Senators, which is who became the Jacksonville Vipers. Uh, so through that logo on the pants, uh, gave it the, uh, the Jacksonville Vipers color scheme to that Ottawa Senators logo. Um, but honestly, I, I love these jerseys. Uh, and I know, again, I know that there's quite a few, uh, who love them as well. Uh, 100% free to go. Well, I guess it's a, you know, one pillar judicial system. And that's unfortunate because if I were in charge, these would be sending straight to jail, looking like bootleg Honolulu tropics, uh, you know, Jersey, like they, oh shit, we printed it with the logo from the wrong state yet. I, I don't know, Joey, like I, I respect your opinion on things, <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I don't like these. I'm sorry. That's okay. Everybody, everybody has their own opinion. Yours is just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's let's follow on something we can both agree on, with the Boston Homes. Jail. Um, and and I'll, I'll, I'll explain why. Uh, and it's more than just the chrome helmet and chrome glove combo. Uh, the the socks don't don't match the jersey. Um, you know, primary black home jersey. I do like the jersey itself. Uh, but the full uniform, it just doesn't work for me. You got red socks with the black jersey. Not a fan of that. To me, match it up. Um, you know, if, if you were to do, uh, to fix the socks, go black socks with, uh, you know, a red and gray striping. You know, even if you have the chrome helmet and gloves, I would consider letting you go free. Uh, but let's be honest, I, I absolutely hate the combo of the gloves and the helmet being chrome. Straight to jail straight to jail and uh well i think you killed that one um so let's uh let me find where their aways are and uh see what we got up oh look at that whimpering flag in the wind same same thing straight to jail it's, straight it's the chrome jail. helmet and the chrome gloves man I, I just i can't get past that um and i'm sure you know a few members of the Boston Buccaneers will will want to shove me off, you know, have me walk the plank for this, but uh, I just, I can't get behind the chrome glove helmet combo. Um, at least the jersey and socks are similar uh, as opposed to the homes, um, but even still, it's not enough to save your, uh, save your jerseys there, you Buccaneers. Jail time for the home, jail time for the away. Just can't do it, man. Damn. Well, let's see what we got up next uh, with the alternate. Should we just leave the? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do now. I do like the Canon logo. Uh, I really do. I like the idea for that jersey. Um, I really don't think the socks match at all. Uh, and again, three for three. Chrome bucket, chrome gloves. Put them behind bars, potty. Behind bar, well, the bars have you know already dropped. I guess we can drop them again. Let's do it again. Oh. Yeah, there, we go. there it is. Yeah, I guess <laughs> not. But you know, I do respect. I, if they could have a jersey that was more like that, like around the the waistline, that like pattern, if that could yeah. be implemented somewhere in the color scheme or in the socks. Excuse me. I think that'd be hot, but let's see what goes it could, on. It could work. It mm -hmm. could work, but it doesn't. Yeah, could work. All right. So next up, we've got TK or Turku home jerseys. I, 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 pardon my French. I know they're finished, but pardon my French. I fucking love these jerseys. Um, Truthfully, like these could be NHL uh, caliber jerseys. Um, to me, they are that good. Uh, the simple design, the striping, the socks, the jersey, the pants. I know it's incredibly blue, uh, but considering the Turku fins, it's they're sharks. You know, they're in the ocean. They're surrounded by blue. Um, you know, I do think it works. I wouldn't mind 
maybe looking to see what it would look like with black pants. Cause if it, if it looks worse with black pants, nah, stick with this. But if it looks better with black pants, I would, I would personally go for that. But man, just, I love these jerseys. If I had to rank them, you know, at least, at least a nine out of 10. And Evan knows that, uh, you know, Ani Escola, I've talked with him about his jerseys, love the home jerseys. I respect any team that will make the gloves only two colors, you know, it's either deep blue or white pearl. Maybe it's just white, but I think that it takes dedication to the overall dramatic of the color scheme and they pull it in well. And it's like the silver band that is like the silver band on the shark. You know, there's, there's parallels. So I yeah. like it as well. So let's see about their aways. Again, it's the it's that perfect inversion of the home jersey. Uh, once again, absolutely love this jersey. Um, you know, the only issue, obviously, with the with the home jersey, uh, you've got that white outline along the shark. This one it just kind of blends into the jersey. But even still, uh, love love the idea, love the look of it, the socks. Again, the gloves are, are that blue, so it gives it that contrast. It, 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 it pops on the ice. You've got that white. You've got the blue. Free to go. Love them. Yeah, I respect that. And I, I do love how the, uh, the uh, I don't know, the thing that goes around a logo, around like the thing that's white, an outline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that thing blending into the background then makes it a more crisp design. So, all right, we'll move along. So to the alternates. Very blue. And, and to me, this one is a toss up. They're definitely in court. Um, I know, you know, they're, they're paying homage to the Calgary flames, who is who the Turku flame, uh, Turku fins used to be. Um, it's just, it's so blue to me. Um, you know, it, What's the verdict? You got to do it like a, like the governor or in the gladiator. Uh, this is, this is, this. All right, Turku, don't come for me, but potty, lock him up. Ooh, yeah. Put him in. It's blue. just, it's, it's so blue for me. And I know that, you know, with Copenhagen, their, their alternate jerseys were just very yellow um i i don't know what it is but you know this now this this jersey would be a good one for that color rush that i was talking about against you know a, a copenhagen alternate i just i it's two colors it's it's just all the blue uh i don't know i mean again this this is a jersey that uh that this was another jersey that it was very hard to come to a decision um, and this is one that's like, man, you got to sequester all of the, all of the jury. Um, and this is like a weeks long court session because it, it, it took me a while to, to think of, of what to do with these jerseys. But unfortunately, Turku, I just, I can't get behind these ones. Don't come for me. I love you guys, but just can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. And Shouldn't do it because, no, wait. Anyways, if these jerseys were in jail, they'd definitely be joining the Crips. Dark blue, they got the big C on the chest. Uh, I don't know, like, but I think they're going to be clicked up and they'll probably survive. So shout out to, uh, you know, Turku for at least you know, going to survive prison or jail. Just let's, jail. Let's, let's, put, let's, let's put it this way. They're not serving a lot of time in jail. It's it's a slap on the wrist jail sentence, uh, but it's enough to, to be in jail. Okay. All right. Well, let me get these bars up and bring in our next suspect. Glasgow, Black Watch, Holmes. It's it's a lot to look at. Um, you know, the, the, the first version of the Glasgow Black Watch were a lot to look at. Uh, these jerseys are kind of all over the place for me. Um, you know, uh, much love and respect to Jess uh, for bringing this team back from the dead. But, you know, these jerseys, 
can't get behind. Uh, so we're we are locking them up. Boom. Yeah, locking them up Just for can't, sure. Can't. It's 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 the multiple shades of green mixed with that blue. Uh, you know, the, the lighter green, I don't even know what to call it. Seafoam green, if you will. Um, you know, I, I would rather, uh, take that color out and make it just that solid, like the Kelly green, that lime green almost, uh, you know, make, make that all the way down that arm. I think that would look better personally. Um, but yeah, this, this Jersey, nah, jail time. Can't get behind it. Absolutely. And I don't think anything more needs to be said. You can just look at this and see it behind bars. So let's go up next to the aways. It could have worked. You know, it, it, at, at first I, I look at it and I think, oh, it could be like a, a Hartford Whalers, uh, you know, jersey, which if I remember correctly, that is who uh, Jess's original team was the uh, Carolina Hurricanes became the original Glasgow Black Watch. Um, so, you know, if it was more so uh, a, a Hartford Whalers jersey, that would work. But unfortunately, what's my big thing with the way jerseys, Potty? It's got to be white. Put them behind bars. Boom. Yeah. That's the only. Also, the socks don't match. Yes, and the socks don't match. That's the only you know? time you're allowed to say it's got to be white. Like the the socks, yeah, right. The socks, the socks look like they should fit with the the home jerseys, uh, because you know the home jerseys have have that that V chevron uh, kind of kind of look on the arms. Uh, you know these socks for the away jerseys probably would have fit better with the home jerseys, uh, switching the colors up a little. But again, with these jerseys kind of all over the place, um, I'd be I'd be a little easier on them if if they were white dominant jerseys uh and and had socks that matched the jersey uh but yeah now with this one behind bars these are like i ate mushrooms and then threw up in the toilet it's like got all these fucking crazy trippy colors and there's kind of a theme but it's like all detached and it doesn't really coordinate but you know yeah those what those gloves man i mean again it's 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 that that light green color i I don't like that on the jerseys, on on the home jersey or the away jersey. It's that I just I don't like that. I'd rather the gloves be kind of like what you put with with Turku, a solid color. Give it a solid black, or even I'd be interested to see a solid green glove because we I don't think we've seen a solid green uh, uh, glove here in goals. Oh, but it's that it's the white jersey. Can't can't be doing gray. Nope. This is all over the place. All over the place, but. We have one left with the alternates. Uh, ignoring the chrome red helmet, which with this jersey absolutely works. Um, I truthfully, I loved these jerseys for the uh, Redwater Undertakers. Um, and I'm very glad that he decided to keep them as the alternates for this team. Uh, and because of that, totally free to go loved these uh with the undertakers love them as the black watch alternates interesting that the like bandit looking you know you know going in gunfire we would be like yeah you're free to go you know but uh i i really like these and the one thing i i just wonder is what would it look like if they took that like tiffany green kind of color and used that as the outline instead of white just to say experiment oh. and and to take it even a step further if the c the the letters on the side and maybe the letters on the glove are also that tiffany um that, that that would pop i would like that i'd like to see that i'd be interested that's like putting on the icing you know all right so now we've got another team coming up Ooh, in rab Officer Rab, I, mu I must warn you, you know, these are, this is a Jewish team. These are Jewish colors. So, like, I ain't saying, but if you <sighs> throw these in jail, maybe considered anti-Semitic. <laughs> All right. Now, I'll be nice. 
I personally, I do not like these. Um, I think the first thing I think of uh, when I when I saw these jerseys was it does look like the Easter Bunny threw up. Um, I I do like the use of the colors, uh, but again, with you know, same with like the Glasgow Black Watch, it's kind of a lot. I wouldn't mind these in, as an alternate jersey, um, but as a home jersey, I will say you at least got the the jersey and the socks are that pastel purple and i do like that um but it's a lot man you know i i respect i respect it uh but unfortunately and i'm sure you don't want to hit that button but sending him to jail yeah don't come for me but i, I, I just i can't man you know we ain't trusting the showers in here this is some bullshit <laughs> i'm allowed to say that but anyways, point is, the, the thing about these jerseys is that they were inspired, you know, the Maccabees. The Maccabees fought against, um, you know, I don't know, like the Romans or I don't know, some other people. Egyptians, maybe, uh, or fled from Egypt, whatever. But point is, it was, it was from the Old Testament, and it was about Joseph and the technical the dream coat. And basically, he was like this brother. They had so many siblings, and they threw him in a pit. And they like took his his beautiful technicolor dream coat that his father gave him and like threw it in the mud and said, "Oh, he died." And I am I am very well versed in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream Coat. That is what my name is. I, I am named after that musical. Oh well. So yeah. yeah, musical or Old Testament, either or. But well, my mom my mom loved the musical, so that's yeah. Anyways, big Donny so, Osmond fan. <laughs> So basically, uh, you get out of, when you are born of the tribe, you get a get out of jail free card. So basically, here we go. Are you playing that now? Oh, <laughs> all right, yo, we're look free. at that. Now let's uh, talk about the aways. All right, ice white, love it. Um, it, it, it kind of gives me the, uh, you, you were a part of the, uh, the Dublin dragons from, I believe it was season four or season five, mm -hmm. uh, where they had the, the, the full white, uh, away jerseys with, with the green outlines. Um, you probably took inspiration from a little bit from that and, mm -hmm. um, you know, some others. And I, I really do like these jerseys. Uh, I would send them to court, but honestly, there's no reason they're free to go. It's, it's an away Jersey for a reason. You know, it's an ice white Jersey. You've got that, that light blue color. I really do like these jerseys. I'm not going to lie to you, Potty. I really do like these jerseys. Well, excellent. And I appreciate you calling out, you know, the, the dragons. I certainly take homage from, uh, from there and inspiration. I remember we did this lime white color and I thought that it looked fantastic. And then they ended up like, darkening up certain portions of it and whatever and like i remember like i like the og ones so i'll make them um i was gonna originally do these in like the israeli colors of like white and dark blue but then i got yeah i got feedback that they looked similar to the turku jerseys so i kind of like respected that there were away jerseys or something that were already in the league that looked like that so i i stuck with the 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 light but just yeah give it give it your own flair man i yeah. like it yeah so uh all right i can tell you we're gonna agree on the next one so at first i'm gonna be honest at first i hated these jerseys because it was three completely separate jerseys but the more that i had looked at them uh the more i've seen them on ice uh i really do like them i'm a huge fan of the use of purple in hockey jerseys um and these jerseys remind me of like the 1970s la kings uh i like the purple i like the yellow um you kept it simple uh for an uh, for an alternate jersey man get out of here you you are free let my people go damn yo that's oh, awesome man i appreciate that and you know when i was designing these i got feedback from another guy and he was like uh in uh and I, I, I looked up to the guy, right? So when he gave good feedback, it was cool. And uh, he was like, yeah, I like the the purple and uh, the gold. Like, I can get behind those colors. And I and I thought, wow, like, 
purple and gold that's kind of regal. And it's like, um, I don't know, it's about uh, more of the Miami culture, but paying homage mm-hmm. to like the McCabean, like, um, I don't know. There's like money. I do. I, I, like, I don't have to talk. Like I said, that. I really do like these. The the more that I look at, at first when I first saw them, um, you know, I didn't like them. But the more that I have looked at the the picture of it, the more that I've seen them on ice, they really do look good. And I, you know, I'm I'm not I'm not just saying that because you're the host, and I I, I do want to continue being on this show. Uh, but I really do like them. And again, they they remind me of the 1970s LA Kings when they first came into the league. Um, you know, big fan of the purple and gold. Yeah, am I'm honored. Well, thank you. Uh, well, let's uh, move on to you know up uh, from Miami. We're going to move along the East Coast up to Brooklyn with the Alpha Dogs. Oh. Expansion team coming out swinging. Uh, I love them. Um, free to go, absolutely. Uh, you know, kind kind of. Let me take my sunglasses off so I can see if that's an orange. Kind of giving, yeah, kind of like an Islanders. Uh, you know, I know obviously Brooklyn. Uh, you know, the New York Islanders had been calling Brooklyn home for a little while until they got uh, their new. Uh, whatever the hell it is, uh, arena set up. But uh, I really do like these jerseys. Um, the socks don't quite, the striping on the socks don't quite match the jersey, but it's absolutely enough to to, to look over. Um, I really do like the gloves. I like the white in the gloves. I like that little bit of orange. You got that orange cuff. You got the, the Bauer uh, written in white. Um, the logo looks really cool on that jersey, kind of giving me like a, almost like a New York Islanders, uh, Edmonton Oilers vibe. Mm. Um, big fan, big fan. Well these done, are, Brooklyn. Yeah, these are killer. These are the favorite, uh, at least expansion jerseys I've seen so far. I think this is the best execution. Um, and uh, I I think even like uh, on the, the pants, they have like this like tight, uh, like piping of different colors and it still like stays true to the overall like color theme. So, you know, well, yeah, absolutely. The only, the only thing that I would say is uh, the, the logo on the pants, you can barely see it because oh. the, the alternate logo is the same color as the pants. It's just that you can see the outline of the logo. Yeah, no, let's, I wish we could take a bigger look. But yeah, no, that's a that's a, a huge blunder. I can't that, read that. That is that is my only issue with this jersey. Wonder what I thought that was when I looked over it. Some sort of blurring, but it appears to be a logo. So let's see if it pops more on the aways. It does not. <laughs> um, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, but I do like that they used the same pants as the home and again it's the same thing that i keep hammering away hey hammers oh, uh yeah. it's <laughs> uh the home and away jersey is that complete inverse um i do like it the only issue <clears throat> that logo you know on the home jersey that logo you can see it clearly uh you know you've got you've got the alpha dog with the moon in the background on the away jersey you've got the alpha dog where is the moon you can't see it mm. But even still, free to go. Free to go. But you bring up one of the most populated, hotly discussed over Twitter, Discord, you know, live YouTube debates is why did they include the the full moon in the logo if they make it disappear? Is it, you know, what is an alpha dog? Does it just have sunglasses? Is it a werewolf? I mean, the full moon only comes around how how often, you know? Yeah. What out without the moon? Are they the same? Are they? Do they play better at night than in the afternoon? Is the question. We'll need to like investigate that. I think these are still still slick. Um, yeah. So, you know, but to each. Well, not teach their own. Let's see what their third jersey looks like, and we can determine a quote the most applicable. I'm going to send them to court, and they're getting put behind bars. And here is why. Uh, to me, uh, the, the orange jersey 
uh, with the, the gradient into the blue doesn't really work in my opinion. Uh, and I mean, the socks, man, the socks don't match the Jersey at all. You've got, you've got the blue socks, you've got the orange Jersey, not a huge fan of that. Um, you know, the orange helmet is something that we really haven't seen, uh, in this league. Um, you know, for, for an expansion team, uh, all three jerseys are good. The home and away are better than the alternate. And that is why alternate, I mean, can't get past those socks. Got to, got to throw them in jail. Got to throw them in jail with that logo lacking a pop. It looks like a fragmented JPEG image. Like you use the, uh, the tool to select a bunch of pixels and you accidentally deleted the color and like all the little <laughs> things around it. Um, yeah, and then with the the fragmentation on the side, I think it's a good look, but it's like an easy look, like anybody can do. We've seen this in San Diego. We've seen this in somewhere else. Um, you know, Florence has done it. You know, Redwater's done it. Yeah, <clears throat> a lot like, of teams have tried. I I'll be honest for for Jacksonville's alternate. I did try something like this, something similar, and I know I touched on it the last episode. Something similar to uh, what Honolulu did with that. You know, the 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 beat. You know, kind of, I tried it. It just, it didn't work. There are some colors that it works for and it doesn't work for these colors. Yeah. What, what I would say, and this is like going to be a divisive suggestion, but even though they're from Brooklyn, I think they should do a Wu-Tang um, colors of like black and yellow, like just completely get out of their, hmm. you know, their, uh, their comfort zone do black and yellow, even though Wu Tang's from Staten Island or Shaolin, so it's like a different borough in New York. So I don't know. I'm not from New York. I don't know how that's going to get handled. But that would be my suggestion here. But let's move along to the next team with Norfolk home jerseys. Hmm. Um. Not not a not a big fan. <clears throat> uh, too dark. Uh, you know, I I know that sounds silly for uh, for a home jersey, but if you think about it, you know, looking at the jersey, um, you know, the 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 navy blue is very dark. The gray is very dark. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. They do have the double logo. They went they went the Copenhagen route with mm. the uh, the double logo on the uh, on the pants, but nah. Unfortunately, nah. Fuck. Jail time. Boom, chaka laka laka. You know, and I I know one of the bars is now overlaid across that second, you know, logo on the shorts, but like, damn, like, come on, man, you can't be putting two logos on your shorts, <laughs> especially if I can't see what it is and I don't know what significance it holds. Yeah. This isn't this isn't well executed. You can't see all of the idea. Um I will say I was like I don't really like that orange around the Norfolk logo, um, you know, the the outline basically. But yeah. it does it does like tie in with this wave current. I just feel could be different. I just don't think orange is the right color there. There 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 could be more. And, you know, with with the the all of the blue, all of the navy blue that they went, they could have gone with like a navy blue helmet. Um, but they went with that dark gray, you know, yeah. to me again, it just, it just doesn't work for me. Not, not, not great in my opinion. Um, but, uh, you know, much, much love to, to the navigators, you know, obviously a respected division rival of the Jacksonville Vipers. So I gotta, you know, gotta give them the respect. Um, but yeah, these jerseys just, you know, they don't do it for me. Absolutely. Take them. All right. Well, let's go. Oh, now oh, these oh. ones. Yeah, baby. This I'm talking now, about. Now these ones. These are crisp away jerseys. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. love these jerseys. Um, you know, I think I think they had something similar to these the last couple of seasons. And you know, in my opinion, Norfolk has had some fantastic away jerseys. You know, throughout their entire existence. So these ones, hundred percent free to go. Um, you know, the 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 striping on the jersey is perfectly matched up with the socks you've got the crisp white jersey with the crisp white socks 
You got the white helmet, the navy blue gloves with that little patch of uh, of gray there. I think it it gives it a nice contrast. And yeah, like I said, absolutely love these jerseys. Oh, these jerseys are so sick. You know, my theory is that little gray patch is actually like the backside of a match. Because like I heard when the Navigators win, although we haven't seen any games yet, but I heard when they win that they all take out cigars and they light it off the backside of the, the glove and then they smoke them on the ice in the after a while you can't see anything and it gets so smoky over there but these are uh these are chilling i like these uh these jerseys and they're um big, th- big fan yeah these are like like navy colors right like we've got gold navy yeah. blue yeah so shout yep. out respect to the seas men and women of the the world all right yeah, big fan of the aways all right the alternates uh, only, only thing I would change, uh, is those gloves. Uh, I'd like to see, you know, some Navy gloves and a Navy helmet, um, aside from, uh, it, let's, let's get past the gloves and the helmet. Um, this is a great away Jersey. Uh, once again, the striping on the Jersey matches the striping on the socks. Uh, it's not really a cream color Jersey, which you know that I love, but it's kind of that sandy tan color, um, which. Thankfully, they didn't use it as their away jersey because I would have to throw it in jail. But these ones, these alternates, fantastic jerseys, fantastic socks. The the jersey pants socks match up so well. Um, again, the only thing I would change with these are would be the gloves and the helmet. But other than that, free to go. I got I got no issues uh, besides that. I can't I can't. I mean, I I really do like them. Mm hmm. Well, what about I would, this? I would say I would say if they change it up a little bit, you know, if they change those gloves and that helmet, I would have no question to to let them, you know, to let them go free. But I would say uh, because of the helmet and the gloves, let's let's put them in court, discuss it, but free to go. But I, I am Sam. I got my I got my fucking eye on you, man. But you know what I've got an eye on is this. Look at look at the the jersey here. And then Boston's jersey. Oh, here. Who who was first? I don't even know. Boston. I think Norfolk was first, weren't they? Here in the in the league. Mm. I'm I'm not. I don't know the history here, but I'm saying we should detain this jersey. <laughs> we should detain you wanna it. Put, you want to put them behind bars? Yeah. Can I do it? I I tell you what. I tell you what. If if we can have the owner of Norfolk on an episode and tell me why we should take these jerseys out of jail. Let's do it, potty. Lock him up. Oh, let's go. All right. To be continued, um, Officer Rab, this was awesome. What'd you, what'd you think of, uh, you know, leading us in this judicial process? Hot damn. Uh, we've got, we've got some, some creative minds here in goals. Uh, you know, I, I know I, I said it, uh, I said it last week on the last episode, but you know, I, I really do love looking at all of these jerseys. Um, you know, a lot of them are different in a lot of different ways. Um, they all resemble the teams very well. Uh, some of them are ugly. Some of them are perfect. Um, you know, I will be releasing some rankings, some official jersey critic rankings here in the in the coming weeks of goals um but you know what in the meantime uh owners of all of these teams if your jersey has been thrown in jail i want you to jump onto the ringside discord and i want you to explain to officer rab and bailiff potty why your jersey deserves to be let go why I, I want some good reasons. I don't want you to say, because I like them. I, I want to know why. I want to be moved. I am the judge. I am the jury. I am the executioner. 